1989 was a big year for Lisabay, with the opening of no less than four new rides. One of these was Aerovarvet, the other three were Snabtoget, Slengunga and Tornado. Only one of these still exists in the park, which is Slengunga, even though it's not the exact same ride that opened with the park in 1989, eh, we still have Slengunga at Liseberg. This is a Coaster Stop theme park documentary about two rides in one. We will start with Aerovarvet and end with Kulingen. For those of you who knows, already knows. Please take a brief moment to press that red button and subscribe to Coaster Stop. Okay, good. Thank you so much for that. Let's swing into this mini documentary about Aerovarvet and Kulingen. Aerovarvet is a swinging ship manufactured by Intamin. Intamin's name for the model is Looping Starship, which kind of gives the ride away. Aerovarvet was a ship that was swinging back and forth until it almost reached a stall upside down and then completed a 360 degree lap. Of course, the ride cycle wasn't over that fast. You were still swinging back and forth a couple of times and you did more than one complete 360 degree lap. Aerovarvet was located in the upper area of the park together with Virvelvinden, Pariserhjulet and Hökfärden. I actually do remember Aerovarvet quite much. Not that I was allowed to ride it from the beginning, but I do remember at one time when I had to wait for my mom when she rode it. In its later years I was allowed to ride it though. The swings as it picks up speed is quite forceful and you get an awesome feeling on this ride. The upside down part though, it was not that nice. It's slow and a bit painful. That's not the ride itself's fault though. That's due to the awful benches that you sat in and that awful restraints that pushed your legs so hard that if you hadn't went to the toilet before, you might as well have peed yourself. A total of 3.7 million passengers rode out of Arvet. After 12 years in the park, it closed down for good, but not moved. No. The ride was left in the same exact spot. It just got rebuilt by Lisebae and Intamin. In 2002, the new rides for the year was Kulingen and Spinrock. In season 1 of our mini documentaries, we focused on Spinrock. Please check it out if you haven't. Kulingen is the exact same ride as Aerovarvet, but repainted a slightly new design and the biggest news of all the ride does not make a complete 360 lap around its own axle nope Kulingen only swings back and forth something that i quite liked with the theming of this ride was the two big yellow air tanks fully visible in each side of the ship does not suit a ship but it looks cool the tanks is not just decoration though, they are tanks that hold compressed air to power the restraints for the ride. I should not say only swings back and forth though, because it's still very forceful in the swings and it's a great ride for 2002. I can't tell you how many times I rode this ride, the best was when you could get the seats in the front or in the back of the ship that would give you the most airtime, best views and highest swings. Was Kulingen better than Aerovarvet? In my opinion, yeah, and it's a simple yes. But those awful benches from Aerovarvet are still there. I wonder if Intamin and Lisebay robbed an old church of their benches and put them in this swinging ship. If not, I am pretty sure they went to a church to take measurements of the benches and they just copied them for this ride. They were so awful 
that when I'm writing this, I can feel them. And again, when I'm recording this voiceover. And then again, when I'm editing this documentary. Except from the seats, I enjoyed Kulingen so much and I was very sad to see it go after the 2008 season. In true Coaster Stop mini documentary tradition, we need to go back in time before we reach the end of this video. We need to go back to 1980 and the year when the ride Urmen Longe opened. This ride was almost exactly like Kulingen. It was a Viking boat that swinged back and forth. And honestly, it's gorgeous. Look at this ride. Not that I have seen Urmen Longe with my own eyes more than in pictures. This was a really pretty ride. In pure Viking spirit, this boat rocked riders until its last season in 1989. Urmen Longe had for the first year a temporary place in front of Kristallsalongen. But already the same autumn, it was moved to its permanent location next to Flume Ride. Urmen Longe was then sold to a French park after closing in 1989. Since 2008, Liseberg have not had another swinging ship ride, which I think is quite bad or sad. Liseberg is a master of flat rides and a swinging ship would be great to see in the park again. Maybe with better seats though. I know that there are quite some swinging rides at Lisebay, but a ship could fit great. Think of a ship in Luna Park, themed to the area to suit the new roller coaster Luna. The swinging ship could match the train. That would be so cool. As so many other rides at Lisebay, Kulingen got a new home and was sold and relocated to Moveland Park in Italy. Kulingen is rethemed and is today called BC10 Airlines. The theming of BC10 Airlines is matching the surrounding area of the park, the Stone Age. I just love when rides get a second or third home and it's amazing to see that Kulingen is still alive today. You have watched a Coaster Stop theme park documentary about Arvarvet and Kulingen at Liseberg in Gothenburg, Sweden. Please like, comment and press the red subscribe button for more videos, mini documentaries and everything else that we do here at Coaster Stop. And thank you so much for watching this mini documentary.